Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Today I'm going to be trying out a brand new foundation. Now, I've never really filmed a video like this, kind of like my first impressions where I kind of wear it throughout the day and kind of give you guys my feedback. But I was actually inspired by a comment on one of my previous videos. Somebody asked me to review like the ColourPop filter, foundation, and concealer, which I do still plan on doing. But there was this new foundation that's out that everyone's talking about and I decided since I can pick it up at my local Walmart that I would go ahead and review it today. So today I'm going to be talking about the L'Oreal Fresh Wear 24 hour foundation. I'm really excited to have tried this foundation. For one, I'm excited about any drugstore foundation that comes with a pump. I got mine in the color 470. It was like a honey beige. Now, it's really hard to match me now because I'm like ghostly white. I actually had to put on some like uh, lotion bronzer because my arms are just looking like so pale. I'm not used to this. I hope that this is like a good blend. I like something more neutral, not too yellow, not too pink. All right, so I already prepped and hydrated my skin. Today, I use the First Aid Beauty Pure Mineralized Sunscreen lotion. Now, before I prep my skin, I kind of want to get an idea of if this is more matte or luminous. So I'm just going to apply a little bit on the back of my hand. That way I know whether to use a mattifying primer or something more luminous. And I sat and finish. It has a really clean scent to it. Alright, so on this side, I'll be using my Too Faced Hangover Primer, more hydrating. And then on this side, I'm going to be using my Catrice Prime and Refine Primer. This one's a little bit more mattifying, more pore filling. So we'll kind of do a side by side. Honest, I feel like I should just do my T, my Too Faced one kind of on my cheeks because this is where it's drier. But no matter what time of year it is, I'm always more oily in this area. So, All right, and then I'm just taking a little bit of this Catrice one. I always like putting my pore filling primers upward since your pores naturally like go downward. If you push up against them with a pore filling primer, it'll make your skin look baby smooth. So I know I have two different primers going on, but I kind of want to do one side applied with a beauty sponge and the other side applied with a brush. So on this side, I'm going to be using my MAC 170 to buff out the foundation. This is like my favorite brush to use when using foundations. And then on this side, I'll be using my Morphe beauty sponge. Fun fact, I use like the top of like a candle lid as my foundation little depositor. I'm going to start with one pump just to get an idea of how the coverage it does definitely has a scent but to be honest it reminds me of like the Dior foundations like there is like a very like clean fresh scent which I personally don't mind but if you're opposed to that just something to keep in mind so this color is definitely too dark for my face but it blends in perfect with my body and I like that it's like more neutral just for like a shade reference if you guys are like anywhere near my complexion, I wear like a NC35 in like MAC foundations. So if you're like medium olive skin, this is in the shade 470. So, so far the coverage looks really good. I literally did one pump and picked up barely any product on my brush. And I'm like still buffing in the product. It's going on really smooth. Oh my God. The consistency of it reminds me a lot of the Dior Forever Foundation, which is like $48, and this was $11.97. So that's just like my first impression right off the back. We'll see how it wears, but I really, it's surely to say I like it, but I do like how it's like applying and blending right now. It's a really thin consistency, but it's covering, which I love. I'm personally not a fan of like really thick foundations. If I do use a thick foundation, I normally mix it with something more sheer so that way it doesn't feel so heavy. This is, again, that thin consistency, but I'm getting like pretty good coverage for applying like such a little amount. Let me zoom you guys in so you can see a little bit closer. So this is how it's applying on this side. Like literally, if that's not a good match, I don't know what it is. So just to show you guys, I did one pump and I didn't even use the full pump to full coverage and a little goes a long way. Now one thing I've noticed from personal experience is that foundations with thinner consistencies normally get absorbed a lot more into the sponge. So I'm probably going to prefer it with a brush, but we shall see. Yeah, so right off the bat, like, I'm already going to have to go back in with more product just to show you guys the comparison. 
brush with literally like a pea sized amount of product and then the sponge. So if you prefer more of like a natural, barely there makeup, you could use the sponge. I'm gonna go ahead and do another pump. And this foundation claims to be a 24 hour wear. I'm not obviously not gonna wear it for 24 hours just because I honestly would have, but I have plans tomorrow. It's my sister's like birthday dinner and I like don't feel like having skin that's like broken out and stuff. So we're just gonna wear it for the day. I work today um, from 3.45 to 9.15 and it's currently 1.05 right now. So I'll probably check back in after work and let you guys know how it will wait. And it's a Friday so it'll probably be busy so I'll probably be running around, stuff like that. So it'll be a very good test of how this withstands. I'm just taking another pea size amount and I'm just gonna go and like spot correct any areas that are still kind of like peeking through, which is honestly only that bad guy right there. And I could use a little more around my nose area. I feel like the redness like never goes away here. No matter how much I apply, it just always finds a way to peek through. I have a little problem guy right there so I'm just applying some lightly padded in with my sponge so yeah this is definitely a nice satin matte finish a lot of times when I spot correct with foundations that are too matte you'll see like that line around there or it'll get a little bit darker and it's hard to like blend that out this didn't do that at all and as you can see like my skin doesn't look completely flat there's like a very soft sheen but it's not luminous it's like a satin natural matte which I love that's definitely my cup of tea so like I mentioned already I do prefer this side I just feel like it looks a lot smoother the side applied with the brush the side applied with the sponge still looks good but I feel like you have to keep going back in with more product to get like as even as a finish as this side and I had to use about like three pumps with this side with the sponge versus not even a full pump on this side so just something to keep in mind. I'm gonna go ahead and finish up the rest of my makeup and then I'll be right back to film an outro. And then I'll let you guys know my thoughts and how it looks once all of my makeup is on. All right guys, so I finished applying the rest of my makeup and so far I am just, this is a good makeup day. Like eye, skin and everything. I am like living for how smooth it all looks and how another like good indicator on if I know I will like a foundation or not is how like smooth the blush and bronzer and all that applies right now I have absolutely like zero patchiness on any of that it's really smooth so today I didn't go in with my foundation powder like I normally do which that will normally give like a very smooth finish all over I didn't go in with that powder and like my skin still looks super smooth and flawless so so far I have really I hope but I'll definitely check back in because I have a long rest of the day ahead of me. It's currently 1.57 and like I said, I go in at work at 3.45. So maybe I'll check in with you guys on my lunch break and then I'll check in with you guys again at the end of the day and let you guys know my final thoughts. So yeah, stay tuned if you wanna see how it wears throughout the rest of the day. People are walking by, this is great. Luckily my windows are tinted. Anyways, hey guys, so I'm about to go into work right now. And so far, this foundation is still looking bomb. Like, I took a couple of like makeup selfies, so I was really feeling just like the whole vibe today. So yeah, it's only been like an hour and 30 minutes since like my full makeup and powders and everything have been applied. So I'll definitely keep you guys updated. I'll probably check back in and maybe at like three hours on my lunch break and let you guys know what I think then. And then I'll also check in with you guys at the end of the night, like I already said. But for the first hour and how it's settled in, I do really like it. Um, let me check if it's oxidized. It really, I think it, I can't tell because I used a ton of bronzer since I've been really pale. It didn't seem to oxidize too much, really. So I think maybe a little, or it could be my bronzer, but definitely nothing crazy. So, so far so good, and I'll be back. Hey guys, I know the lighting is like really great right now. So I just wanted to fill you guys in. I'm currently on my way home right now, hence why I'm not looking at the camera, I'm looking at the road. Um, but I didn't have a chance to check in today because I worked a 
shorter shift so i only had a 30 minute break and a girl gotta eat <laughs> so yeah but i did a lot of running around i was pretty busy at work today and as you guys can see my makeup's still holding up actually you guys probably can't really see because i don't have any lights on but i do plan on doing another full in-depth check-in once i get home in my studio that way you guys can get better view with the lights and all that it's already been about seven hours since i've had it on and about like one hour since the initial application so I'll be back. all right so so far it's looking really good i've had it on for seven it's 10 o'clock so i've had it on for about eight hours now for being an eight hour wear like it's still looking pretty good i have a little bit more of a shine around my nose area but to me, that's like a given with any foundation because I don't touch up with powder or anything throughout the day. But I feel like for eight hours, no touch up from like I was running around helping a bunch of different clients, doing makeovers. I was trying on clothes on my lunch break in the dressing room. So I feel like overall it's held up a lot. It doesn't look patchy. It looks really good. So, so far I'm giving this foundation like a solid, do I want to give it a 10? I honestly kind of want to give it a 10 for the price point that it's at, for the finish, for like the coverage that it gives, how natural it looks on the skin, it doesn't look heavy, like I will definitely be grabbing for this foundation a lot more and yeah. If you guys enjoyed this video, please don't forget to give it a thumbs up, don't forget to let me know in the comments down below what you guys want to see next and if you want to stay tuned for each time that I upload definitely hit that subscribe button and the notification bell so you can be notified every time I do upload a new video. And if you guys want to see more videos like this, just let me know in the comments down below and I would love to do more kind of like testing out foundations or liners or stuff like that for the day. And I will see you guys in my next video. Bye!